What is Scientific Realism versus Anti-Realism? Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, we'll be discussing a topic that is fundamental to the philosophy of science, Scientific Realism versus Anti-Realism. This topic has been debated for centuries, and it's still a hotly contested issue among philosophers and scientists. So, let's dive in. First, let's define our terms. Scientific realism is the view that scientific theories and laws accurately represent the way the world really is. This view holds that scientific facts are objective, independent of human beliefs and perceptions, and can be discovered through scientific investigation. In contrast, anti-realism is the view that scientific theories and laws don't necessarily correspond to any objective reality. This view questions whether science can really provide us with knowledge about the world. To understand the difference between scientific realism and anti-realism, it's helpful to look at some examples. For instance, let's take the scientific fact that the Earth revolves around the Sun. Scientific realism holds that this statement reflects an objective fact about the world. However, an anti-realist might argue that this statement is only true from a human perspective, and that we can never truly know what the universe is really like. Another example is the concept of subatomic particles, such as quarks. Scientific realism holds that these particles exist independently of our observation or measurement. Anti-realists, on the other hand, might argue that subatomic particles are simply theoretical constructs, and that we can't know whether they really exist. One of the biggest debates in the philosophy of science is whether scientific theories aim at the truth. Scientific realists affirm that scientific theories are supposed to give us a true picture of nature. Anti-realists reject the idea that theories aim at the truth. For them, theories are only meant to model the observable phenomena, and it is not necessary for them to correspond to any objective reality. Another point of disagreement is the role of observation and experiment in science. Scientific realists believe that experiments and observations allow us to discover the truth about the world. Anti-realists, however, argue that our observations and experiments are always influenced by our theories and beliefs, making it difficult to claim that science is objective. It's also important to note that scientific realism and anti-realism are not mutually exclusive. Some philosophers and scientists might hold a middle ground, known as constructive empiricism, which holds that scientific theories are useful and predictive models of the world, but we can never know whether they are true. So, why does this debate matter? Well, the answer lies in the nature of scientific knowledge. If we accept scientific realism, then we can have confidence that our theories and laws accurately describe the world. This allows us to make predictions and develop technologies based on a sound understanding of nature. However, if we reject scientific realism, then we are left with the question of whether science can ever lead us to truth and understanding. Furthermore, the debate between scientific realism and anti-realism has implications for scientific inquiry itself. If we accept anti-realism, then it becomes difficult to make sense of what scientists are doing when they try to explain the world. Are they uncovering objective facts about the world, or are they simply constructing models that happen to fit the data? On the other hand, if we accept scientific realism, then we can have confidence that our scientific investigations are leading us to a deeper understanding of the universe. In conclusion, the debate between scientific realism and anti-realism is a fundamental issue in the philosophy of science. While scientific realism holds that scientific theories accurately represent the way the world really is, anti-realism questions whether science can ever provide us with true knowledge of the world. This debate has implications for scientific inquiry itself, as well as for our understanding of nature and the universe. As we continue to explore the mysteries of the world around us, it's important to consider these issues and to think critically about how we approach scientific inquiry. Thank you for joining me today. I hope this video has given you a better understanding of scientific realism versus anti-realism. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks for watching.